Welcome back to Inside Workforce Development, sponsored this week by the Tennessee College of Applied Technology. And there are some big doings going on with the TCATs in Smyrna. You guys are working on a huge project, and it's just about to open up. It really is. It's 154,000 square foot of the most state-of-the-art training in the country right now for it's a public-private partnership with Nissan. And Nissan has been a great business partner for the state since 1982. And they were in dire need of upgraded training facilities. So you had a partnership and, and uh, Governor Haslam, one of his first uh, real big projects mm -hmm. was, was this project. And he yeah. saw the value of this project. And, 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 but at the same time, it's a public TCAT that does a lot of training for Nissan and gives Nissan a great training facility for their employers, employees as well. So it's it's one of those win-win for the pub, for the state and the and a major industry that has been a good partner for the state. And uh, and you know the students will get to to use training labs that Nissan has with state-of-the-art equipment. Wow. And uh, and Nissan gets to use the TCAT training labs. So this is all built on the Nissan facility. It's or it's you no, know, it's it? on private property. We purchased the property immediately across the street from the okay. entrance to Nissan. So easy access. Wow. And it's one of the most state-of-the-art facilities and um, it's got a wow factor. But at the same time, I think you're going to change the lives of a lot of citizens in this state, provide technical training for Nissan. Because one thing when we developed this, Nissan truly felt like that their suppliers need the same type of training that they do. Sure. So that's why it's a public TCAT as well. So I think it's a win-win for the, for this whole region. And having that trained workforce right. is always a big thing. If you want industry to come here, you have right. to have the workforce who right. can work there. So yes. this is a, just one more step in, in making the automotive industry stronger in Tennessee. But I think this started with a great partnership with the TCAT Murfreesboro. Uh, as a matter of fact, Dr. Pereer was the director at that time in an industrial maintenance program. And they saw, wow, you're turning out the type of people we need. Hmm. So let's make this thing big, and we and we have. And so it's, it's going to be impressive. It's going to be impressive. Oh, so please stop by and see it. The building opens January fourth with students. They're anticipating about two hundred students the first day. They're offering four class, four, four different programs the first of the year. There'll be welding, machine tool technology. There'll be uh, industrial maintenance, and then they'll also have a, an auto body program, a collision program. So lots of great things going on, and it, room to expand additional programs. Yeah. But this is just it's what just we're interesting. starting. You'll see this automobile body, and right beside it is going to be a four-foot robot that welds, that does wow. welding on it. And you have another so auto body and another technology. robot, just a line of it robots down there. So these students will will be training. We did a lot of mechatronics. We'll be training these robots. We we'll learn how to program robots sure. to to. So and these are jobs that great jobs and they need and all good over this region. Jobs right, right out of the gate. Right. Well, we just have a few minutes left. We've uh -huh. talked about all the great programs. How do you enroll? How do you get started? Contact your local TCAT and. Um, Will our website be up there so they'll have a web address if we, we could put them. that up there and they can go contact the closest institution near them, contact the school, they can come in, they'll talk with someone, they'll review the programs, but basically the student only has to do two things. One, pick a program and decide if they're full-time and part-time. As the Vice Chancellor said earlier, 95% of our students are full-time and then get started. Most of our programs have um, immediate openings. Those that do not will have maybe a three or four month wait period, but that kind of gives people time to get everything in order, financial so aid information. So financial aid, we talked we'll about that. Does that take a while? You need to, should you have that in place before you go apply, or is that all part of the process? Actually, that's part of the process. And, and most people will not that come in at, in their mid-20s or in their mid-30s sure. to come in. They're not familiar with all that process, but we have people on hand that will guide them through this process. I mean, we do the best job in the state, at, I call it hand-holding. You know, we will not leave you in lurch. You're not going to hand you papers and tell you to come back. And you get home and you see a stack of papers and say, well, I can't do this. No, we'll Somebody help with will guide out you the through that process. I mean, we'll help with everything. I'll say that our campuses do a, just an outstanding job working with students and potential students and working in the community and certainly working with our state agencies with labor and develop, you know, workforce and development and economic development. Just a great job to make sure that we're we're on target. And, and you know, and if you have any questions, you've got your local career centers as well mm -hmm. that will direct oh, yeah, you to the sure. local TCAT that's to the Department of Labor. Great partnership with many years with the Department of Labor. So those career centers, and we're located within 
uh, the main campus within 50 miles of pretty much every citizen in the state. Well, then 27 of them. There are a lot out there. And then, as Carol said, we've got many off-site campuses now, mm -hmm. so you may be within 10 miles. Of, of so there really is no excuse. No if you're excuse. looking for that new career, you're looking for that new job, this is one way to get it, and it doesn't cost anything. It'll be the best decision they've ever made. All right, and the placement rate of 87%, that proves it right there. It does. All right, well, thank you so much for coming by, and we look forward to the opening of the Smyrna facility and uh, having a great 2017 for the TCATs and, and putting a lot of Tennesseans to work into good-paying jobs that are going to stay here for a long time. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And we thank you very much for joining us today on another edition of Inside Workforce Development. You can always find out more about our department at jobs4tn.gov. And if you want to learn more about the TCATs, just search Tennessee College of Applied Technology in your area, and they'll bring up all the information for the closest TCAT to you. I'm Chris Cannon from everyone at the Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.